Now let's talk about the 4 pi component of the Diels-Alder reaction, known as the diene. And this is a conjugated diene. It can be as simple as 1,3-butadiene, and there are many, many related structures involving substituents on the conjugated diene core and that kind of thing. The diene, in order to react in a Diels-Alder reaction, must be in the S-cis conformation. And this is because both bonds to the termini of the diene are made at the same time. If we back up to our kind of classic example of the electron flow, both bonds here are made at the same time. And in order for that to happen, both of these termini of the butadiene have to be relatively close to each other and relatively close to these carbons of the dienophile. And so only the S-cis conformation, which is what you're seeing right here, is reactive in the Diels-Alder reaction. Let's recall what we mean by S-cis and S-trans briefly. So there is rotation around this central single bond in 1,3-butadienes. And when the two double bonds are on the same side of the single bond, we call that S-cis. When they're on opposite sides, we call that S-trans. We previously noted, due to a pretty simple steric effect, that the S-trans is actually the more stable conformation here to the tune of about 98% S-trans to 2% S-cis at equilibrium. So this gives us a sense of why we often need to heat these reactions or give them kind of a kick in the pants. We need to increase the population of the S-cis conformation in order to get this reaction to go, in order to get the diene in the right conformation for reaction. There are some dienes that are actually locked in either the S-cis or the S-trans conformation. And these locked dienes either don't react at all if the diene is locked in an S-trans conformation or react extremely rapidly if they're locked in that reactive S-cis conformation, indicating that there is zero of the S-trans and 100% S-cis. An example of a locked S-cis structure is cyclopentadiene, and we're seeing that right here with the two double bonds locked into an S-cis arrangement. You can kind of see the letter, I always think of the letter C when I see this, right? S-cis, it's locked in that orientation. In fact, if you try to buy cyclopentadiene, it comes in a form that is not this, but the deals alder product of reaction of cyclopentadiene with itself which is this product right here. It undergoes Diels-Alder or 4 plus 2 cycloaddition so rapidly that it will react with itself, with one molecule acting as the diene and another acting as the dienophile via just one of its double bonds to produce this product. And there are some interesting aspects of, to this product that we'll uh, dig into a little bit later, particularly related to the stereochemistry, but it's a good example to pause and make sure you can make sense of the electron flow and the connectivity here. Where is the, six mem the new six-membered ring? Where are the new sigma bonds formed? What do the curved arrows look like? That kind of thing. There are other dienes that are locked in an S-trans arrangement, and a good example of this is this structure right here. Notice that these two double bonds are absolutely locked in an S-trans arrangement. There's no way to rotate this around. There's really no rotation around that central single bond because the inner carbon is tethered to each of the ends like this. So this is locked in an S-trans orientation. If you hit this with a dienophile, heat the crap out of it, add a catalyst, do whatever you want to do, it will never react in a 4 plus 2 cycloaddition. Uh, unless it's a stepwise cycloaddition, in which case we're out of the pericyclic realm entirely, this is pretty much unreactive in pericyclic 4 plus 2 cycloadditions because it's locked in the S-trans conformation. And this is good evidence that the S-cis conformation is the reactive conformation in this reaction. So at the bottom of the slide here, we have a question. Which of the following reacts more rapidly in 4 plus 2 cycloaddition? And we've got two butadienes um, with some additional substituents on the end. So we've got two 4 pi components here, double bond, single bond, double bond, and a double bond, a single bond, and a double bond. And we can see that where they differ is in the configurations of the alkenes. On the right, we have the 2Z, 4Z, with both of these double bonds in the cis or Z conformation. And on the left, we've got two E double bonds that are in the E or trans conformation. And I think in, in order to appreciate this, which su uh, structure or which compound reacts more rapidly, let's draw each in its S-cis conformation, since this is the reactive conformation, and just kind of see what happens. 
To do that, we're going to need to rotate around that sing central single bond. Right now, we're looking at the S trans conformation, right, with the double bonds on opposite sides of that single bond. When we do that for the structure on the left, we get this structure right here. And the S trans structure is favored over the S cis, but we can see that this isn't the worst S cis structure, right? These two methyl groups end up pointed outside of this kind of C shape formed by the double bonds and the, the conjugated diene, and so it looks all right. If we try to do the same thing with the other substrate, we end up in a situation where the two methyl groups are now pointed directly at each other, and this creates a problematic destabilizing steric interaction between those methyl groups. They are in each other's faces and bumping right into each other. So this destabilizes the S cis conformation of this molecule on the right, and that's why I've drawn the forward arrow just as a teeny tiny little dot there to show that by and large, this is something like 99.999% S trans and 0.001% S cis, right? Very, very, very little S cis conformer in this compound on the right. Because of the greater population of the S cis conformer in the left-hand compound, we would expect more rapid reaction. In a sense, there is a greater concentration of the reactant, right? Since the reactive conformation is actually this one in the left case with the EE hexadiene as opposed to the right case with the ZZ hexadiene. And so the left hand structure will react more rapidly in four plus two cycloaddition.